This man just rented a house and ran into a female ghost. He saw a female ghost peeping in the shower. When he opened the refrigerator, he found her lying inside. He was watching a football game when the ghost sang in front of him. So David had to call in an exorcist. But the exorcist didn't even know where the ghost was. Then David brought in a more advanced exorcist. The exorcist said everything was going well. But then she set off the smoke alarm. David felt both helpless and overwhelmed. David decided to find a new apartment in order to get over his heartbreak, but the agent took him to several rooms. He wasn't happy with any of them, and that's when a flyer flew into his lap. David threw it away, but the flyer was on his face again in a flash. The flyer wouldn't leave him. David found the apartment, according to the address on the flyer. David found the apartment satisfactory and moved in. In the evening he had just gotten a soda, then he saw a woman in the house. Elizabeth mistook David for a burglar and told him to leave her house. But David said this was the house he had just rented. Looking at Elizabeth's familiarity with the furniture, David thought he'd run into a rental scam. He watched Elizabeth go into the kitchen. When he followed her in, Elizabeth had disappeared. David searched the entire house and couldn't find Elizabeth. He thought he'd seen a ghost, so he hurriedly changed the lock on the door to a new one. After taking a shower, David found Elizabeth in the mirror, but he turned around and didn't see Elizabeth again. He went to his friend to talk to him, but his friend just thought he was hallucinating. But while David was sleeping, Elizabeth reappeared in the house. She warned David to leave her house. When Elizabeth tried to call the police, she found that she couldn't touch the phone with her hands. She tried both hands again and still couldn't touch it. Elizabeth couldn't believe it and ran out of the house. This startled David. He was convinced that he had met a female ghost, so he called the agent to find out about the previous owner of the house. The original owner, Elizabeth, was an extreme workaholic. She had no life other than work, but Elizabeth suddenly disappeared three months ago. David is now convinced that the ghost is Elizabeth. He rushes to the bookstore down the road to look through psychic books. He holds a white candle and tries to exorcise the ghost himself to make Elizabeth leave. Just then, Elizabeth appears. David asks her what her name is, but Elizabeth couldn't remember. Her past memories were all gone. When David's hand was on her shoulder, Elizabeth screams rogue. David tried to make Elizabeth realize that she was dead, but Elizabeth still doesn't think she's dead. She walked through David's body and fell to the ground floor, but she reappeared in front of David in a flash. From then on, David washed his pants with him in the shower, because Elizabeth was sitting on the toilet watching him. When he opened the refrigerator, he would find Elizabeth sitting inside. While watching the football game, Elizabeth was sitting in front of him. David couldn't take it anymore. David called the store manager who sells psyche books. He couldn't see Elizabeth either. The store manager could only tell David to move out of the place. But David refused to move out. The shopkeeper drank a can of beer and started to talk to David. He didn't think Elizabeth was dead. He said that Elizabeth was just a living soul. David is at his wit's end. He was on the rooftop thinking about life. Elizabeth comes up to him. She reassures David not to die, otherwise he would become like her. Everything about her made David feel so angry. Then he went to the bar to vent. Elizabeth followed him in. She said that drinking away his sorrows would not solve the problem. She wished she didn't want David to give up on life, but all her friends saw was David fighting with the air. And with that Elizabeth dragged David out of the bar. David began to think about a serious question. Why is he the only one who can see her? Elizabeth asks David to help her retrieve her memories. Maybe then there will be an answer. David decided to help Elizabeth. He asked all the neighbors in the neighborhood, but none of them knew the original owner of the apartment. Because Elizabeth didn't hang out with anyone else, the neighbors didn't even know the apartment was rented out. David rummaged through the kitchen and found the address of a laundromat. They followed the address, but all they learned was that Elizabeth was a little dumb. David tried to get Elizabeth's pants back, but the clerk said the pants had been donated because no one had picked them up for too long. David found the next address. He described Elizabeth's face to the man, but the man suddenly asked David to come back at 6 p.m. At that time, he would give David a check. David could only applaud. Apparently, they had failed again. As they were walking down the street, Elizabeth suddenly stopped. She recognized it as her favorite restaurant, but to no avail. Just as they were turning to leave, a man knocked over the waitress and collapsed to the ground. As passers be called for a doctor, Elizabeth directed David to examine the man and told him the man's symptoms. He poured a full bottle of vodka on the man's stomach. He also directed David to perform surgery on the spot. The fainted man miraculously woke up. Elizabeth also finally realized she was a doctor. 
When they arrived at the nearest hospital, the nurse told them that Elizabeth no longer worked here. They went to the third floor and met Elizabeth's mentor. They learned that Elizabeth had been in a car accident. It turns out that three months ago on a rainy night, Elizabeth was driving home alone and accidentally hit a truck. Elizabeth learned of her story, so she floated and found her body in the hospital bed. By the time David arrived, he found that Elizabeth was not dead. She had only been in a coma for three months straight. Elizabeth tried to get her soul back into her body. She laid down on her own body in a hospital bed, but her soul and body were not glued together. David found that when he touched Elizabeth's body in bed, Elizabeth's soul would also feel something. All this proves that there is some kind of connection between them. But then the mentor came and warned David to leave. The woman had been seriously injured, and her soul was separated from her body. Elizabeth wanders alone in the hospital. She saw her sister's children. Elizabeth followed the children to the hospital room. She happened to overhear the doctor talking to her sister. Elizabeth had been lying in a hospital bed for three months without waking up. The doctor advised her sister to give up Elizabeth and leave the money for the living. The sister said she would think about it. Elizabeth was very anxious beside her when her sister signed the consent form. It meant that Elizabeth would be completely dead in three days. So she found David again, but she happens to see David having a sex. When David saw Elizabeth, he rejected the woman decisively. He found Elizabeth on the rooftop. After all these days David had fallen in love with Elizabeth. In order to help Elizabeth to relieve her emotions, David took her to a garden. It turned out that David was a landscape designer. This is exactly what he designed. Elizabeth and David made their love known here. At that moment David received a call from the agency. Elizabeth's ventilator was going to be removed. The apartment would be sold to David. For Elizabeth's physical survival, David decided to talk to her sister, Abby. While David was talking, Abby's daughter actually smiled at Elizabeth. Then she ran away. She brought over two cookies and put them on Elizabeth and David's plates. Elizabeth thought she could see herself, but the little girl didn't say anything. Meanwhile, Abby said it was too late. She's already signed the consent form. Tomorrow at noon, the doctors will turn off Elizabeth's ventilator. David had no choice but to tell them that he could see Elizabeth's soul. Abby let the children into the house. Then she pulled a kitchen knife out of the kitchen and chased David out the door. When Abby returned to her room, her daughter asked her if Aunt Elizabeth had left. This left Abby frowning in her tracks. The next day David decided to steal Elizabeth's body to save Elizabeth's life. He told his friend Jack that he was going to carry medical supplies. When they arrived at the hospital, Elizabeth instructed David to take the necessary supplies first. At this point David also told Jack the truth. Jack was trying to prove Elizabeth's existence. He made a few gestures behind him to let David speak out. At this moment, Jack finally believed David's words. They came to the hospital room pretending to be doctors. At this moment Jack recognized Elizabeth. It turned out that Elizabeth was the blind date Jack had introduced to David before. But Elizabeth had a car accident. So there was no follow-up on this matter. There was a destiny between David and Elizabeth. Just as they were about to make their move. The doctor actually arrived 15 minutes early. They had no choice. David had to beat him down. He followed Jack and escaped with Elizabeth. Jack managed to lure a security guard away. But he also took the breathing tube with him. Elizabeth's soul was slowly fading. David helped her with artificial respiration. Miraculously, Elizabeth miraculously regained her heartbeat. Elizabeth woke up after a cough, but she forgot about David. She looked at David as if he was a stranger. From that moment on, Elizabeth and David became strangers. He sat her alone on a wooden chair in the park. She weaves in and out of the crowd, wondering at the smiles of people. His silhouette faded in the afternoon sun of the apartment. Her figure becomes clear, but she feels as if she has lost something inside. David moves out of Elizabeth's house. Her sister told Elizabeth that her house was only rented out for a month. Elizabeth looked at the familiarity of the house, which had not changed at all. But when Elizabeth arrived on the rooftop, it had been made into a small garden by David. She looked at the strange David in front of her. She asked for David's keys. Just as David was handing her the keys, the handshake between them brought back all of Elizabeth's memories. Elizabeth recognized David. They embraced and kissed passionately.